everyone, I'm Woodchuck and welcome to my channel. Today is special because it's my first year anniversary on YouTube. <laughs> this day last year I started my YouTube channel and posted my first video. In honor of this I decided to remake the drawing I made for my first YouTube video. Which is this one I did of Merald from Forgary Memories. So let's get into it. As you have seen in the beginning of this video, yes, I made a cake to celebrate my first year anniversary. Footage courtesy of my sister, she filmed all of it for me, so thank you, Zero GI. Anyway, about last year's drawing. I see a lot of things that could have been improved. Meryl has a sword in this Virgil picture because this was back when I didn't really know much about Forgetting Memories, and I think the first episode didn't even come out yet. I just thought they were pretty and neat. He had a sword in this picture because I was like, Knights have swords, right? So I gave him one. But after watching Forgary Memories, I don't think it fits very well. So in this new version, I am doing some changes. For one, I am giving him his conductor wand, if that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. I'm changing up the pose a bit and using this picture I found of a music conductor as a reference. I also have a few other references of conductors to help me with the pose and vibe of the picture which I forgot I had and didn't bother to look at any of them and only realized when I was finished that I had those up in another tab. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> also, I'm going to bring it up now. I remember it was mentioned in episode one of Forgary Memories, The Red Bouquet, that Merrill can control golems. I think that's what it was. Although I'm not sure if it was like a legend of him or if he actually did do that. So I thought it would be cool to have him actually using his wand and golems being formed behind him. But towards the end of drawing this picture, I did not have the energy or desire to actually add them. So yeah, in the beginning of the speed paint, there was a few golem-like creatures in the back in the rough sketch phase. But I got rid of them later on. Just letting everyone know that now. Also, this picture was originally going to be the reference picture for the actual drawing. But it ended up becoming the official one. That wasn't the original plan. I was going to do what I usually do for most of my drawings on this channel, which is draw the picture on paper take a picture of it, and ink it digitally, and go from there. But I didn't do that this time, clearly, so you get to see how I actually draw from scratch. The reason why I even do that type of process in the first place was because I wasn't really comfortable with drawing purely on a tablet without a paper drawing reference, because I wasn't very good at drawing purely digitally, because I hadn't had a lot of practice doing it. And I would just do doodles and stuff, and I would never really try to draw seriously like I do on paper. Because I did try it before, and it didn't look great, so that discouraged me a bit from doing that. Or, you know, trying to do that frequently. But recently I decided to actually start drawing like I do on paper, digitally. And I have been getting better, so I am much comfortable drawing this way now. So since this drawing was originally a reference sketch and not the official one, I have a lot of chicken scratches that I had to touch up, so that's going to be happening a lot in this bee paint. Time to talk more about the actual drawing that I'm drawing on screen. So I wanted to try and draw Mero's cardigan more accurately because last time I didn't do all the details because I didn't want to. This time around, I really do want to try and make it accurate. So with that process, I did try to use a brush that comes from IBIS Paint. X that was a braided pattern to mimic the knit pattern on Meryl's cardigan. It's kind of a quick way to get the pattern instead of doing it all myself. But I hate how it looked on the drawing, so I scrapped it after I figured out I could do the pattern myself. So from what I could tell with the tiny knit pattern on Meryl's cardigan, it looks kind of like hearts to me. So that's what I did. I made a row of a bunch of hearts. And I'm grateful for a duplicate button because I just duplicated what I did on the one arm to the other arm. So I wouldn't have to draw like extensive amount of hearts everywhere on there. But I did draw a lot of hearts. <laughs> I also used the lasso too to mold it to the shape better because his arm's bent. And I think it turned out well. Also, I'm not used to drawing so much detail like this. So when I first actually started doing that and I had it there, it was a little bit overwhelming for me. But now I'm used to it, and I actually like how it turned out. I did color most of the line art, not black, because I was trying to copy the original, but I kind of end up winging it. <laughs> I also think there was way more black outlining on the official artwork than what I was doing. But I was just doing what I thought looked nice, and I thought it looked nice like that. So I ended up adding shadows with multiply on one layer and lighting on a few other layers using overlay. But as you may see 
towards the end of the speed paint. I noticed that something was off and I didn't know what it was until I realized I forgot to put the shadow layer to multiply. And I did and it looks way better. I was wondering why it looked a bit dull. And now I know why. Wow, multiply really <laughs> makes a difference. So I had been working on this picture for seven days and it took me over 13 hours to make. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know there's some flaws and everything, but try my best and, you know, nothing will ever be perfect when it comes to art. But I am really happy with how it turned out. I love how the cardigan came out and I love how it looks. I can see the improvement from last year's version and I'm really happy with it. Anyway, I do want to mention that I know my uploading schedule kind of has been a bit funky. Usually I try to upload at least once every week, but most of the time I realize lately that that's kind of hard for me. And I decided to upload a video every second week. So, you know, one week a video, next week no video, one week a video, next week no video. That was my plan because I started kind of trying to do that, but I kind of messed up on some parts and I started having to use the actual schedule to figure that out. But hopefully that's my goal because it makes things easier for myself. But this month, December, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually keep up with that because I do have a few videos I wanted to put out. So I might actually be putting out more like, you know, weekly video thing. We'll see. But yeah, so that's not exactly going to be followed this month. Hopefully, maybe next year I'll have it figured out better. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know that. At least that's what I wanted to do. Until I found out today that my wisdom tooth removal appointment is happening the day after tomorrow. Which is actually on the day of my anniversary. <laughs> because, obviously this is all pre-recorded stuff because I have to have the cake and my drawing done before December the 1st. Which I'm just finding out right now that my stinking wisdom tooth removal appointment is happening on December the 1st. So yeah, I, uh, I don't know how the schedule is going to go next month. Or this month. Because that's this month is because this video is being posted in December. My surprise is already my first year anniversary. But I am super excited with how much I've grown over the year and hope to make more art and animations on this channel next year and improve more. Also, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it, and I'm happy you're enjoying my art. And if any of you are new who like my stuff, consider subscribing. So, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully see you next time. Bye!